Welcome back to another video. You guys, I am stateside. For those of you that don't know, I had to return to the US. It was an unplanned uh, return. I had to take care of some non-reptile related business for which I've already accomplished and taken care of it. This is the beginning of my third week back. And I figured since I had to come back only for about a five week period of time, I may as well be productive. So I've arranged two import shipments. I have Indonesia arriving. Well, it's already arrived actually. I'm on my way to LAX to pick that one up. And on Wednesday night, I have Malaysia coming in. So two shipments are inbound. We've taken some pre-orders. Our available page is updated. We are going to make an appearance at the Reptile Super Show. We will not have our normal booth, but we will be set up there with a friend. And I'll give you guys more details on where we'll be located, who we will be with, and if you guys are attending, um, where to look for us or look for me. I'm here by myself. I'm filming this by myself, a little different than normal, but I'll try to do a decent job. I'm gonna give you guys a look at what we brought in from Indonesia. It was kind of last minute. It's not amazing shipment, but um, some still decent stuff in the shipment. Same with Malaysia, it was last minute. This whole trip, this whole return trip was not planned. So I kind of had to wing it and do a lot of last minute stuff. But I think I've pulled it off. Hopefully the animals arrive in good shape. The one I'm picking up right now went through uh, Korean Airlines and their hub is in Seoul, Korea, where it is very cold right now. Winter time in Korea gets very chilly. So Korean does a really good job of uh, taking care of live animal cargo. So I have confidence with them in regards to that. So anyway, I will show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if this video is going to be two separate videos or if I'm just gonna basically kind of combine the entire week into one. I'm not sure yet, but regardless, I am gonna share all this stuff with you guys and let you get a good look at it. If you're interested in any of the stuff that you see in the videos, please reach out to me. If you're local, we can arrange local pickup. You can come to the Reptile Super Show to pick up. We are going to be shipping, but of course, we will be avoiding the uh, Christmas holiday and, and of course, New Year's Day holiday. I'm leaving on the 11th. Our last day for shipping is the 10th, but we can work it out. I'm not really afraid of shipping during the, the cold weather. So that is it, you guys. Let's get it. Okay, you guys, so we are clear. The shipment's clear. I am headed home. We're gonna do the unboxing and I'll show you guys whatever I see that's interesting. And right now I'm gonna focus on my driving. <laughs> so without further ado, I am gonna show you guys some animals finally. Um, the, this is kind of the aftermath. I put a lot of animals into the pre-order customer's hands. If you scroll Facebook like I do sometimes, you're probably gonna see a lot of people posting a lot of brand new animals, monitors, snakes, all kinds of stuff, even inverts. Pretty much all of it came from me, but um, I didn't film that stuff. It wasn't really mine per se to show you guys because it was pre-orders. And I don't wanna confuse you guys by showing you animals that are already spoken for. Uh, that are already sold. So uh, obviously those animals are gone and they're not here to show you. But I do have some really cool animals that I wanna show you guys. And the first one is a really big snake that I only took it out of the bag to give it a quick once over and put it away. So this will be interesting. Hopefully it goes okay. I'm gonna pull this animal out. I apologize for the weird camera work. I'm by myself, so I'm doing this selfie style. So I can't even point the camera down towards me removing this animal from the cage, but hopefully I'll be able to pop up into the camera view with this big snake to show you. It's going okay so far. There's no commotion yet. Okay, here we go. So he's actually working out pretty good. So this is a very large Patias carinata 
a big boy and probably my favorite animal from the shipment and he is incredible pretty good size not the biggest one i've ever seen but he's he's up there in size and also girth so some of these animals will get like they have the the genetics to be very big and thick so <laughs> don't bite me we're not filming that kind of a video so i don't know if you can hear the growl but he's uh he's making his making his I don't know if this microphone is picking it up, but it's pretty wild. The microphone is on my chest and I kind of, I don't want him to be all up in my chest, <laughs> but very, very cool animal. So we actually have six of these and I'm going to hold on to this big dude because he is just awesome for video work, for camera work and uh, just a really good example showing you guys what these animals uh the sizes that they can get up to so really badass snake haven't seen one of these big ones in a while mm. and as you guys know that watch the channel they um the ones that i got sent during the summer were all melanistics so i specifically asked for no melanistics this time and that's what we got so that is awesome. All right, so I'm gonna put the big dude back. But my favorite, look at that dude, you guys. I like the pattern animals, I think, better, but that is nice. Okay, bud, don't do that. Let's go back. So we started with the largest animal from the Indonesia shipment, I believe. And so now I'm gonna probably take you right down to the smallest. So we got a bunch of these captive bred baby toke geckos. We should have these at the expo. I'm, I'm selling them here and there, but uh, I had these at the last July show, I believe it was. So true captive bred. Uh, these are like the byproduct from a very very large quality of morph animals and these are like the normal byproduct but i see some that have some interesting traits and they could very well kind of blossom into some of the the less um, obvious morphs like uh, fire and like red spot and those sorts of things but um, i'm seeing some interesting animals in the mix so those should be in pomona if i still have any leftover we still have mm, i think two weeks from today when the video is uploaded so it should be saturday so two weeks away uh, but we have some of those and we have tribulinotus gracilis the red-eyed armored lizards or crocodile skinks as they call them but these are very long-term captive animals i've never received any in the past that were this robust and this big these animals have been in captivity already for a number of months and they are big beefy they actually run from you and they're fast they're hard to catch normally i'm used to seeing these in the past and like they're you know they, they look like they're dead they just sit there they don't even move or anything but this is a whole different type of uh quality here so red-eyed armored lizards they are really cool and i have five left they are actually selling really fast so i'm kind of doubtful that i'll have any in time for um or still have some for the show in pomona but you never know but i'm down to five so <laughs> we'll see how many are left by the time that weekend rolls around and we have elephant trunks we have one pair and these should be in the pomona show and so nice and big not the little wormy babies but these are these are big like sub-adults or small adults they get bigger than this but um it's pretty good size and they are not comfortable outside of water so i'm gonna put them back <laughs> and i have two striped kukris oligodon octolineatus 
and I haven't sexed them yet. When they both arrived, they were both in shed. This one just shed. So I am going to be headed over to the Asian market to get some snake food. And I have quail eggs on my list. So I will be offering food today to this one. The other one hasn't shed yet. So very, very beautiful and not common at all. But I know there's some of you, a couple of you guys are keeping these already because you guys have messaged me already in the past. So I haven't sexed them yet, just only have two. So that is about it that's left over from the Indonesia shipment. The half a dozen Pattaya's carinata and the elephant trunks, crocodiles, skinks, toke geckos, that sort of thing. And those things will be for the show. I'm in discussion with a couple people about Pattaya's carinata, but there's enough to go around. So I do have surplus still of those. I need to photograph them. They've all eaten. They've all fed already. They've been treated inside and out, believe it or not, with that first meal. So um, we're off to a really, really good start with those. Some of them are going into shed now, so I'll wait until they, um, they kind of get their fresh skin and they'll be really nice and pretty. So Malaysia, um, we got all those big boxes that came in. Most of it, again, was uh, pre-ordered like wholesale stuff but I have pre-order animals in the back and I brought some animals over from the facility a couple little leftovers like one Rubidus and one Blue Beauty I'll probably pull a couple of those out to let you guys see and then we have a couple other things um, this is probably worth showing as long as I don't get nailed these are actually sold already these are going to be picked up in Pomona but uh, Malaysian Jewel Centipede, this is kind of like the, the holy grail of centipedes. And they're beautiful. And they're cool when they're just hanging out and just sitting still. But when they erupt, they are very fast and very sketchy to deal with. And that pre-order customer is also getting some captive bred baby jewels. So, but these are already sold. Probably shouldn't show those to you because I'm just teasing you. But um, anyway, let's move on. Let me show you some other stuff. So we have tentacled snakes, both normal form and striped form. And again, I'm in discussion with some people for these, but really none of this stuff has been committed to yet. So we had an absolutely perfect ratio. I'm super, super excited um, when I sexed them out. So. 4.7 of the normal phase and 2.3 of the striped phase. And so again, we're going to be setting up like a water display at the show. Uh, whatever is left, whatever hasn't been sold or spoken for prior to the show, uh, we will have all the surplus there. So these are really nice. I really like these animals. They're super cool. So I think for the blue beauties, we just have one female that hasn't been spoken for yet. So these are the ones that I had as babies. Don't do that. And um, I grew them out in Malaysia in our facility. And so just had too many, just have a lot of them. And so I decided to cut back in some of that particular group. So I think at the show we will have one female if it doesn't get picked up prior to the expo. But if you need a female blue beauty, a really nice one, a nice blue one, um, let me know. I have one, I can send you pictures. Everybody fed, uh, everybody fed the day after arrival. So it's like, they came from my facility, but they're like no worse for wear. So some are in shed. And so the ones that I need to send photos to customers I will probably wait until they shed out to do so. So anyway, very nice captive bred. These came from Europe originally as babies. And I have two male Spilotes, really big Nicaraguan animals. And they've been with us for quite a while now. They were in the facility. I sent these over in 2020 and they were already pretty decent size at that point and they've just done nothing but growing. So demeanor is pretty good. They're easily excited, just like all this stuff is very visual. But as long as you're calm, they're calm and 
Yeah, they're nice snakes. I think this one is in shed actually, but big and, and nice. So again, something else I just needed to make some cage space because we're making some changes in Malaysia. So just made a little bit of surplus available. So very nice animal, very big, big and calm. Yeah, it's going into shed. I can tell by the ventral scales they are getting kind of blue. So be a lot prettier fresh shed, that's for sure. And from Malaysia, also some mock vipers. We got, uh, I think we got five of these and I'm talking to a couple people about them. So there might be one or two left over, maybe three left over. It depends who flakes and who follows through. But um, this one looks like a girl. It's already fed on house gecko for me and it's only been here one day. So that's a good result. So they're all a little different. Some are darker, some are lighter. I haven't really taken a good look at them for uh, sexing them, but mock vipers are really interesting snakes. They're really unique. They totally look venomous. <laughs> so that is it, you guys. It has been a crazy week for me. Uh, there were always more going on than what you guys see, of course, right? So. Monday morning was Indonesia shipment. Tuesday I thought was going to be a day off that I'd be able to just spend some time uh, working and getting the animals squared away and settled in. And I ended up having a toothache and emergency root canal on Tuesday. So that was not a relaxing day for me. And then on Wednesday, I was supposed to get my Malaysia shipment on Wednesday night. It was going to be like almost a midnight run to the airport. And they, they moved the shipment up and the shipment came in early in the morning on Wednesday. So I cleared that shipment on Wednesday morning. So super crazy week. And then of course, customers coming and picking up all their stuff and delivering animals and all that. And now finally, I'm having some time to, you know, really pay attention to the animals and getting everything dialed in. Uh, I need to make a trip to the Asian market today. I need more frog legs. I need quail eggs for the kukris. I need fish for the aquatics, so we'll be headed to PetSmart and grab some um, red minnows for those guys. Yeah, so it's uh, it's like back in action again, super busy, but the time is going by very fast, which is good for me because on January 11th, I fly back to Thailand and I see Apple again, and I am working on many, many different levels of reptile stuff. I have so many things going on, I can't even begin to tell you guys all about it. But it's all good stuff, it's all super exciting. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will see you in the next one. Take care.